So I was fortunate to be part of this webinar that was put on by Flatiron School, which is the data science boot camp that I went to when I was making the transition into the data science field. The panel was a really fun experience, so I hope that you get something out of watching me answer these questions and that it's helpful to you if you're making the journey into data science. What do you currently do? What's your job title? And a little bit about your company or organization that you work for currently. I was in consulting before I went to Flatiron and I'm in consulting again now. So different company. And now I get to do my favorite part full time of the work that I was doing before. So it was like a tiny chunk of my work was data related. So I learned SQL, which is a great skill. And I learned Tableau, which is really fun. And yeah, and I got to build those skills through Flatiron into a data science career. I just feel super fortunate about how everything worked out for me. What sparked your interest in data science? Data is all around us. So working with data is very intuitive. You probably approach many challenges in your life with a very data-driven mindset. So I think it feels very natural to be working in this space. And it's really exciting that the work that I do now, it's on the cutting edge, you know, I'm, I'm getting to implement models that are being written about in preprints and taking them and applying them to solve challenges for federal clients is really cool. It's really fun every day. So that has been my experience with data science. What do you think makes someone well-suited for a career in data science? Love of learning is key. To build on that, I will say I am really pleasantly surprised by how much time I spend reading and researching. So yes, you need to understand statistics and you need to be strong in that field. Once you get over that initial learning, then I spend a lot of time reading and researching, trying to find the best tools. So that's been really cool. Then the other point that I want to build on is the importance of ethics in the field. Definitely incorporate that into your time uh, studying and um, sorry we're diverging from the question this has become like advice hour but uh yeah so if you are a person who likes math but also enjoys research who loves to code because i code every day it's my favorite part of the job and is also passionate about ethics and understanding the business function of the data then you will be a person who likes data science what does the average day look like for you? What does the team that you work with at your company look like? Um, what are kind of your day-to-day -day tasks? As a consultant, I would say I typically have one client project and one internal project that's going on at a given time. Um, so something that uh, it's a, like a machine learning use case for the federal government. And then I'll be working with one team to develop that. And then I have kind of an internal team that I work with that's composed of data scientists and practitioners of DevSecOps and software engineers and things like that. And we come together to work on internal projects that will help build out the capabilities for the firm. What is the difference between data science, data science and data analytics? There's, there's data analytics, data science, and machine engineering. And, um, and so the, they all start at the same place. Uh, like you have data, um, the data is dirty, it needs to be cleaned. So, um, so I guess then the question is kind of like where the handoffs take place. A data analyst is somebody who is capable of starting at the start line and running with the baton for like half a lap. And they can clean the data and they can do some initial analysis and apply statistical models. And then the data scientist is somebody who's capable of running the full lap. They could have started at the beginning, you know, done the data cleaning and things like that. But where you really want them is doing that second half where they're going to be strong and fresh and they can just focus on the things that only data scientists can do, right? So that's applying your machine learning techniques. So some more advanced neural network architecture type of models that the data analyst isn't uh, focused on. And then you have your machine learning engineer and they're like a super athlete. Um, and they're maybe the people who are like building the tools for the data scientist. That's how I would try to describe it in metaphor. So hopefully that's helpful. 
one thing you like most about your job and one thing you like least about your work that you're doing? My favorite thing, uh, it's hard to pick just one thing. Um, so I wanna touch on something that we haven't talked about yet. And that is how cool it is to be learning about neural nets. You know, we're building these artificial systems to parallelize human intelligence in a narrow domain. And so it's kind of like taking a metaphor and using that to solve challenges because the way that the neural network works, like an artificial neural network, it's not exactly the way that, you know, a human brain works, right? We're not there yet. Uh, but what you can learn about this metaphorical artificial neural network that's really that's solving real world problems and providing insights, there is also knowledge that you can gain from the system and apply to your own learning. That's been like a, a random benefit to me personally. It's like I will learn about the vocab word from my study of, of machine learning. And then I'm like, actually, that's kind of relevant to studying to get my AWS certification because it trains me how to be a better learner. That's a very random benefit. But I will say that I have, I've really enjoyed working with artificial neural networks. And yeah, it's also benefited me, not just in my teaching a machine to learn, but also in teaching myself to learn. What advice, knowing what you know now, what you do today, would you give to aspiring data scientists? I would just say, like, get started now. Um, do one small thing. Like, whatever is the next step in your journey towards wherever you want to go, it's never too early to start learning. I have a whole new appreciation for this process of how learning works. Starting early is, is really key. So that's it for the panel discussion. I hope that you found the answers to these questions to be useful to you. And if so, please like and subscribe for more content about data science.